Yes, I'm Eveline Jones. I'm a faculty at Stanford University and the president and founder of Child Family Health International. Um, I started the organization, really the idea came in 1987, 1988, uh, when I first went down to Ecuador and realized what a profound experience, life-changing experience for a medical student to go into a developing country was and came back completely uh, convinced that all medical students should have this experience. And over the last 20 years, I've really seen global health education's and the priority for global health education uh, change in medical schools. And uh, it's really been wonderful to see that growth. Uh, we started sending students abroad, or Child Family Health did, um, really beginning in like 1991. And the, the program really grew organically, um, both from how the students, what they were hope, what their expectations and hopes were in learning abroad, but also in constantly keeping in um, mind and asking our communities what their needs were and how we could help them. The students are there to experience and to really have a life-changing uh, perspective about what it is, uh, the, the, the um, incredible uh, divide between what we have here in the developed world and what's in the developing world, the disparity between those, um, those cultures and communities. Uh, but there's still a great amount to, you know, there's such great things to um, learn from these communities abroad. And our focus has always been that the experts are really those that live in those communities and that they are the ones that can teach us. And it may not be a medical fact that they're teaching us, but it's about the culture and about health. And health isn't just medical illnesses. It's about the people and their culture and their knowledge and their literacy and their finances and their social network. and in their environment. And so we really value that. And I have always felt that the world is a classroom and that each one of us, if we participate in learning in other communities, need to understand that that really is a place in somebody else's classroom. And we really want to respect and honor them as teachers and as the experts in those communities. Sometimes the communities have asked for uh, support financially so that they could have a small project completed. and. It's incredible that you know this much money, and we're talking two, three thousand dollars, will go that far. Uh, I have been a evaluator on the USAID grants, uh, looking at various large NGOs giving money abroad, and usually several hundred thousand dollars will go out to one project. And we've been able to be successful in a very similar project with less than five thousand dollars a year because we really had the community and the commitment and the passion of the people behind it. And they, could, they leveraged and did everything. It wasn't about expatriates coming down. It was about those people going in and getting the work done. Well, I hope that they get to know themselves better. I hope that they learn how to communicate with themselves. I hope that they learn how to say, I don't know, I feel uncomfortable. Um, I need help, uh, I don't understand in another culture and be vulnerable and, um, and receptive to the help. I think as physicians we are, you know, we have a great sense of entitlement coming into this profession and uh, it's an incredible amount of uh, humility that we can gain from being in these other cultures. Uh, I think that we as physicians are best if we um, know and understand ourselves, we are better and are able to receive and know and understand other people. And um, a good physician is a physician who understands and knows himself well and is a happy physician in the sense of that, that inner peace or inner sense of confidence or calmness. And uh, I think these programs abroad, although they're very exciting and they bring out a lot of interesting new things about medicine and about the culture and language, uh, they also put us in a place that's sort of a discomfort zone, and you know, it's outside our comfort zone. And it, we as uh, an organization understand that and then really try to create the didactic around that that allows those students to really go within themselves and find that within themselves, which is their truth, not our truth.